using Java language. Okay. Um, ano ba yung scanner? Okay. Yung scanner, kung baga sa GUI or graphic user interface, ito yung kapalit niya as input text or yung text field kung saan tayo nag input or um, yung input user. So, ba't din ginagamit natin ngayon is console line. Okay, console muna tayo before tayo pupunta dun sa mga input text. Okay, again, scanner is um, taking user input or tumatanggap ng input from user. Okay, ma-relate ko siya in real life or real world. Um, like for example, using Android phone or our phone, as you can see, um, pag magda-dial tayo or kinecheck natin yung status natin is nag i tayo. So, dun sa inquire, sa inquire is uh, maraming optional or maraming categories my inquire balance or um, avail your rewards and so on. Then, dun sa baba or sa last is na kung saan nag input tayo ng number or yung choices input natin. So, dun sa pag-input na yun, ang gamit sa kanya is, is scanner po yun. So, ngayon, um, mag-declare tayo ng scanner. Okay, yung last lesson natin is about um, display text. So, ngayon, um, combination display text and using scanner. So, let's create new project. select java then java application okay using netbeans madaming option po kung anong gusto nyo yung program we have c++ para ang c++ then also c language php basic programming language click next bakit to bakit to bakit to okay then project name sample scanner okay project folder okay already exists let's say scanner one then finish okay before anything declare muna natin yung object ng scanner paano yun so is scanner then, bigyan natin ng variable name as input equals to new scanner then system dot in okay, semicolon okay so, bakit siya um, system dot in kasi meaning, um, ibig sabihin ng system dot in ito yung in input natin galing from keyboard or nag input tayo using press button so kasi madami yan may mga scanner then file so ibig sabihin nun um, magseselect lang tayo ng file so ngayon system that in ibig sabihin input button talaga from user okay so naka red line ibig sabihin may mali sa ating code select natin yung light button okay may mga naka-add na pwede nating i-select so let's select add import for java with scanner yan okay so dapat may import java util then dot scanner so so wala pa yan hindi pa tayo maka-input as you can see pag niyaran natin put so, wala pa yan. Oh, press button, wala. Wala, hindi tayo pwede. Hindi tayo maka-input. Um, so, dapat tawagin muna natin. Okay. So, to do that, uh, mag-declare muna tayo ng variables. Okay. So, mauna is data types. Let's say, for example, um, string 
name uh, is equals to so ito na dito na tayo mag declare ng scanner kukunin natin yung variable name ng scanner which is input okay input then dot next line string name input the next line so ibig sabihin ng next line is ang pwede lang i-input is um, more on string di pwede number dapat letter okay pag gusto mo naman yung kukunin input is number so papalitan mo yan int the same with next line as next int pag double next double okay So, let's try to run this one. So, ngayon, maka-input na tayo. So, before mag-end yung uh, console program natin, enter muna. Then, as you can see, build success. So, ibig sabihin, wala nang next code. So, next one is, ang gusto kong mangyari or gusto kong output is kung ano yung i-input ng user yun ang dinidisplay ng text natin or yung system um, display system.out.print yun ang ipiprint okay to do that system.out.print so madami we have print then print ln so ibig sabihin ng ln next line or, or line next So, for now, we are going to use ln. Okay. Then, lalagay natin kung anong natin gusto ang display na text. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung double quotation mark na yan. Diyan, ilalagay natin kung anong ibig sabihin na gusto natin ang ipalabas na text. Okay. For example, um, your name is So, ang gusto kong mangyari, your name is kung ano ang input ng user. Okay? So, ilalabas natin dun tayo mag-add ng uh, variables. So, tatawagin lang natin yung variables ng humahandle dun sa input user which is name. So, yan yung mahandle ng user input kasi nag-declare tayo. For example, um, string name input that next line. So, Pagkaran natin, naglagay tayo ng A. So, ngayon, yung string ng variable name as A. Yung name ngayon as A. So, tawagin lang natin um, yung string plus string. Dapat may plus yan. Okay. Pangalan ng string which is name. Okay. Try this one. Okay. Let's say for example, Hamja. Your name is Hamja. As you can see, diba? Correct yung code natin. Okay. So, explain natin kaunti. So, ito yung nag-handle ng, um, nag ng input user. Itong variable, kung ano yung input niya, siya yung mag-handle ng value niya. For example, naglagay siya ng A, so yung string name is magiging A yung value niya. So, lalabas lang natin, kukunin lang natin yung variable name para lalabas din yung value as A.